Hi everybody. So as you can see here, um, I'm mining Electronium using the mobile app on a desktop. And there are a few reasons why you would want to do this. Number one is if you had, a, you know, a more stable connection, you don't have good service where your cell phone is, or uh, you have an iPhone and right now there is no um, Electronium mobile app for the iPhone. It's only been approved as of now on the for Android. So this is actually very, very simple um, to get this to work. And the way you do that is to download a program called BlueStacks. So you would go to bluestacks.com um, and you would just download it and run it and install it. Once you do, you'll have to sign into your Google account. Um, you'll get something like this once it's installed. And this is a, your basic platform for um, running Android. I think it's version 5.1 on any desktop that you want. Um, from there, you go to the Google Play Store and you search for Electronium. You open it and once it's done downloading, you'll get an app right here. And once you do that, you can open it up just like this, just like, you know, a little Android window here. And as you can see here, I'm mining at, you know, the regular 30 hashes a second, which is seems like most phones um, are limited to. And the pending balance of 3.22 ETNs um, in the active miner and whatnot. So after you install Blue Stacks and then um, install Electronium, you'll get on the desktop a Electronium icon that you could just click open up and bada bing bada boom and this way you can run electronium 24 7 on a desktop um you can also do this on you know on a mac so there's different ways of going about it but just because you have an iphone or um you know a different phone you can't utilize android then um this is an easy way for you to get on board and to keep it running 24 7 always active and to be earning those etn so you go to electronium.com first you sign up for an account um then you go through this process and you uh whitelist you know this ip address and this app and uh once you're all signed in you'll just you'll get this and as you can see here this is pretty much um typical app same as you would have on an Android phone. There's no difference. There's different payments that I receive and sent out to uh, an offline storage wallet that I use. And so that's just about it. And, it, you know, easy does it.